Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Halology. This is our last episode of Maha 2022 and this time, I'll take you along with me to explore the pineapple and lifestyle in Zone 4. There are plenty of things to see and experience here so come and join me in my adventure. arrived at Pineapple Showground and I was greeted with a group of school students performing Zapin, which is a traditional dance originating from Joho. Inside here you can find something like similar to the art museum. They have places for you to take photos with, with the theme of pineapple and the manufacturing of pineapple. Actually, I want to find soft pineapple ice cream but I cannot find it here. But over here, we can buy bananas, the pineapple and the food. The food products based on pineapple. At my back over here is the pineapple plot in this Lamanenas inside my head. So basically, I've been here a few months ago, I think. When was that? It was when we shoot the video for the G2G Animal Garden. I think it was, I remember, but it was several months ago and this area was a mess it's full of wheat and the pineapple is it's like a mess so today they are very clean they have removed all the wheat they have cut some of the tip of or the pineapple leaf and you can see it's very neat today and the reason they put they use that black plastic bag is just to avoid the the grass and the weeds from growing because when they plant the pineapple initially it was just very small but as they grow big the leaf is so big, like several foot, like two to three feet, and it will be a mess because you can't even walk in to remove the weed, right? So when you want to harvest it, it will be a mess. So that's why they put plastic wrap on the soil just to avoid the weeds from growing. And yeah, last time my family do have do planted pineapple in I think Negeri Sembilan. One of the worst enemy of pineapple is the wild boar, babi hutan, and pineapple took. I can't remember the exact time. I think two years before it started growing fruit. Two years. Or I think the fastest one, nine months. I can't remember. I can't remember. But it's long. I think two, two years. Two years. And it, it is kind of frustrating that for pineapple farm, that in order to secure your farm, we have to build fence. And the fence is not cheap because if your farm is so big, like several acres, the cost of having the fence will be thousands and this one is a proper fence it's a it's a steel fence but ours is just like mesh net the black net that normally you see the people use to cover the the rooftop over there that one that one over there that black mesh we use that to cover and that already cost thousands to make the fence for the pineapple and to plant the pineapple is really really patient the first few years, I can't remember the exact one. I think it's two years. I think two years. So the fastest one is nine months, if I was not mistaken. But it's long to wait for the crop to grow. And whoever that plants this plant, you are very, very patient. You have to have patience. And even for pineapple, you have to spray the hormone. I can't remember, but time when I visited farms, you guys seen in my previous video, I think I shown you guys the owner for the crystal honey that came to my brother's place to drop by some pineapples. I've been to their farms before this and yeah, right now he has several farms all over the states in Malaysia. So if you guys can see over there, the leaf is a little bit dry. It's dry. It's either they already, it's already dying. I mean, they have harvested have they harvested this one because it's really really dry it looks like it's dying com as compared to the one that that's normally we see they are very green very big and yeah this one i think they don't maintain it for some time already so this is one of uh, the local variant it's called tobe and crystal honey so inside here they show us the the face of this MD2 pineapple according to their month and this is six months the next one is nine months and over there the one bearing fruit is 13 months after they plant the MD2 pineapple so that is 10 months nine months so I think the fastest one would be yeah this one 13 months after they plant the pineapple 
So inside here, they showcase different kind of variety of pineapple here in Malaysia but unfortunately, none of them bears fruit except for MD2 just now because as I said, to plant pineapple, it takes more than one year for it to bear fruit so if let's say this kind of exposition is suddenly being held last minute of course, you cannot plant pineapple last minute, right? So we can't see any pineapple. In contrast to last time, this area has a lot of pineapple. That's the constraint because of pandemic. So right now, I'm walking to the mechanical area where they have all the machines involved in the agriculture. But it's already late here so you can go for fun shooting i haven't done my archery in a long time and i don't know where did i put all my stand i don't know where is it is missing so i cannot do my archery unless i buy a new one well by the time i publish this video i've already repaired my bow and i've start playing archery again and over here so they have equestrian so you can take a horse ride and also take the horse car to tour the area but it's already 6 30 right now it's already 6 <laughs> It's already 6.30 right now. Closing down. I've been here last time so it's okay. So at my back over there is the GQG Animal Garden. If you guys want to see that video, you guys can check out the video up here. You guys can see video on my visit last time. So I'm going to skip that part. They have the poultry exhibition over there. And I'm going to try to find the livestock exhibition. Because it's gonna get dark in 30 minutes. I have to end my tour after this because after it's dark that you guys can, cannot see anything. So cute! So usually in this livestock showground, you can find different kind of breeds of cow for milk and for the meat. And what is this, this one? It is so big, huge one. Am my back over there? Cherule? I don't know. What is this one? It's so big, guys. You get the comparison of the cow. It doesn't say what kind of breed. I could see there's a huge difference in between Maha this year and last year. I mean, previous year. I think in terms of the exhibition for the animal part, I think there aren't as much as before. As if before, we can see a lot of different kind of goats and even deer and cow. But this time, it's kind of limited. Okay, so I was right. It's Cherylis and Limousine, the big ones. Well, apparently, they have some kind of mini Jurassic Park inside here. See over there. It's dark, so I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a dinosaur over there. So this is the petting section. You can find animal like cat, rabbit, and even ayam serama is I don't know what they call that in English, but it's a kind of chicken, very small but very it's petite kind of chicken, and people keep it as a pet. But I can't show you guys everything in this park because it is so messy. I have to take two days to go to walk around here, but I think I covered around. 70 or 80 percent of this park we didn't go to the other half of the area nearby the state pavilion and to the hill in front of the state pavilion last time it was floral exposition as well as vegetable over there but i don't have time today let's see if i can come back because there's two more days of this exposition so if i have time i'll come back if not then that's it guys wow. This is 2500 guys. This is so expensive. Look at how big it is. It's so big. And the price is 6500 You can buy a motorcycle with that price of chicken, okay? 
because I'm not a farmer so I don't really know about it but it is really expensive guys So this is blue slate So cute, this chicken, they have sauce. I think this is not native to Malaysia because in Malaysia, if you have sauce, it will be so, it will be so hot, right? In Malaysian weather. This is Ayam Hamburg. I believe this is female and there is male. Ooh, they are always in pair. Alhamdulillah, finally, at the end of my trip, I found the soft serve MD2 pineapple ice cream. Okay, thank you. Maha 2022 has really shown us on how the crops, livestock, as well as fish are being farmed and how it is processed until it ends up on our table. It made us realize the hard work that the farmers had to go through to grow and harvest the crops. For example, the pineapple took two years to be harvested. We could also see the effort put by various agencies, farmers and businesses to support the entire supply chain of food and producers so that we have enough food to eat every day. Therefore, we should appreciate our food better and it would be ungrateful for us to waste our food. The diversity and uniqueness of producers, food, culture from each of the states in Malaysia reminds me the greatness of Allah that He created so many things on this earth in diversity that comes in various species, colors, taste and texture for us to enjoy, explore and to learn and appreciate one another. Not only that, with His mercy, He also sent us down the rain so that each of us could live, we and the animal could drink from the water and the plants may grow. We could see that there are so many blessings that Allah has bestowed upon on us if we spend a little bit of our time to ponder upon it. I think I'm gonna end my video over here because it's going to be Maghrib soon and I have to take a break dinner time and solat prayer time. So I thank you guys for watching this video until the end. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't and thank you so much for watching until the end. So I'll see you guys in my next video until next time. Assalamualaikum, ilal liko, and maasalamah.